Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another example of how we do word problems combining things, and this is part of Lesson 3C. So, it says here, for a theater showing 202 tickets, tickets were sold, a child ticket cost $6 and an adult ticket cost $10. How many tickets of each were sold if the receipts totaled $1,708? All right, let's start out by defining the number of tickets sold for adults and the number of tickets sold for children. So let x equal, well, we can pick either one, so let me say that the number of child tickets sold. Now you say, well, why do I write all that down? It actually makes a lot of sense to be very definitive about what x represents. It's the number of children tickets or child tickets sold. Then how do we express the number of adult tickets sold? Well, they tell us that there were a total of 202 tickets, so if subtract from that the number of children's tickets, that we end up with the number of adult tickets. So the total 202 minus the amount sold for children equals the number of adult tickets sold. All right, now that we have that very well defined, now we can go ahead and come up with an equation to help us solve the problem. We're supposed to find how many of each tickets were sold. So we can say that the dollars received for children's tickets, so the money received for child tickets, plus the dollars received for adult tickets, must total up the total amount of money that they received, which is $1,708. Now notice how, again, I write it out very, very long-handed, but again, it makes sense when you do this. This is the amount of money you received for children's tickets. This is the amount of money you received for adult tickets. Add them together, that should be the total amount of money you received. Now, how do you algebraically express the number of dollars received for the child tickets? Well, you can go ahead and take the cost per ticket, which is $6 per ticket, and you multiply that times the number of tickets. So, the cost per ticket times the number of tickets gives you the total cost for all of those tickets. You do the same for the adult tickets. There we have the cost of $10 per ticket. And then you multiply it times the total number of tickets. For the adults, of course, and that should add up to 708. Now, let's write in what those are. So the number is $6 per ticket, so that's 6 times the number of tickets, and these are children's tickets, the number of tickets is x. So that's the total value of all the children's tickets, plus the dollar per ticket, that's 10, and multiply that times the number of tickets, which was 202 minus x for the adults. And that adds up to 1708. And now we're ready to solve this problem. Now we're ready to solve this equation. So simplifying things, this is 6x plus 10 times 202 is 2020 minus 10 times x is minus 10x, and that equals 1708. Now the next step is to move all the x's to one side, everything else to the other side. All we have to do is move the 2020 over there. So we end up with 6x minus 10x equals 1708 minus 2020 because when we move the 2020 over the sign changes to a negative now we combine like terms so this is minus 4x on the left side equals and that would be um, hmm, the difference between this and 2000 is uh, 292 and another 20 that would be 312 so minus 312 quick check tells us that that would be correct all right, now we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x so that the negative 4 cancels out. So what is 4 divided into 312? x equals 4 goes into 31, that would be uh, 7 times, and that would be another 8. So x equals 78. Now, what does that define? What is x defined as? Uh, let's go over here. It says x is equal to the number of children's tickets x equals 78, that means we sold 78 children's tickets, and 
If the total is 202, it would subtract 78 from that. That means 124 adult tickets were sold. So that would be the same as saying 202 minus 78, and that is indeed 124. And so that's how we determine how many of each tickets were sold. All right, let me see if I can come up with another good example for this.